This is the Music History Today podcast for September 21st. On today's show, Jocko passes away, Nirvana releases its last album, and R.E.M. break up. First up, though, on this date in 1957, Scotty Moore and Bill Black quit Elvis Presley's backup band, The Jordanaires. In 1965, the Moody Blues performed at their first major concert, the Pop from Britain concert, at Royal Albert Hall in London, England. In 1966, Jimi Hendrix changed his name spelling from J-I-M-M-Y to J-I-M-I. In 1967, guitarist Frank Zappa married secretary Gail Slopeman. In 1971, BBC Television premiered its music variety show, The Old Grey Whistle Test. In 1978, it unofficially became Earth, Wind & Fire Day. Thanks mainly to the lyrics in the first lines of their song, September, the lyrics that go, Do you remember the 21st of September? Love was changing up? Okay, let me stop. Anyway, the song was recorded throughout September, but was actually released on November 18th. So, what actually happened on September 21st? Well, Singer and co-writer of the song, Maurice White, said that he just liked the way it worked in the song. His wife, however, tells a different story. She says that it was actually the due date of their son, Cabram's birth, and he immortalized it in the song, which actually makes more sense. And now you know. In 1979, Bruce Springsteen performed his song The River for the first time. It was released as a single two years later in 1981. In 1980, Elton John left MCA Records for Geffen Records. Also in 1980, Bob Marley collapsed while he was jogging in New York City in Central Park. It was then that doctors found out that his cancer had spread throughout his entire body. In 1996, Jack and Meg White of the White Stripes were married. In 1997, the Jimmy Rogers tribute concert, Waiting for a Train, Jimmy Rogers America, took place. In 1999, the music show Reverb premiered on HBO. In 2001, Mariah Carey's movie Glitter was released in theaters. And also on that same day, the post-9-11 concert America, a tribute to heroes, took place in Madison Square Garden, only two miles away from Ground Zero at the World Trade Center. Bruce Springsteen, Tom Petty, and Billy Joel were among the performers that night. In 2002, the Farm Aid 15 charity concert took place. In 2004, Cat Stevens, now known as Yusef Islam, was denied entry into America because he had been accused of giving money to terrorist groups and had been put on the terrorist no-fly list. In 2009, the group M. Black was formed. In 2011, the legendary alternative rock group R.E.M. broke up officially on their website. We discuss more about the career of R.E.M. on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which is already dropped on this network. Please like, subscribe, and do all that funky stuff that the algorithm gods tell you to do. In 2013, the Farm Aid 26 charity concert took place. Also in 2013, singer and songwriter Joanna Newsom married actor Andy Samberg. In 2015, the group Kids United was formed. In 2018, the Quincy Jones documentary Quincy premiered on Netflix. In 2019, the Farm Aid 32 charity concert took place. In award ceremonies that were held on September 21st in 2000, the Matthew Good Band was the big winner at the Canadian music video channel Much Music's Music Video Awards. Albums that were released on September 21st include in 1973 when Billy Preston released Everybody Likes Some Kind of Music and Thin Lizzy released Vagabonds of the Western World. In 1976, Tom Waits released Small Change. In 1979, Cheap Trick released Dream Police, The Stranglers released The Ravens, and Foghat released Boogie Motel. In 1981, Sheena Easton released You Could Have Been With Me. In 1982, Luther Vandross released Forever For Always For Love, and Janet Jackson released her self-titled album. In 1984, America released Perspective. In 1990, Fish released Lawn Boy, and the Indigo Girls released Nomads, Indians, and Saints. 
1992, ABBA released Gold, their greatest hits album. In 1993, Nirvana released In Utero. It was the last album that was released while Kurt Cobain was still alive. Also in 1993, Bad Religion released Recipe for Hate, Melissa Etheridge released Yes I Am, The Scorpions released Face the Heat, Led Zeppelin released their box set in Volume 2, and Sting released Demolition Man. In 1995, Skunk Anansi released Paranoid and Sunburnt. In 1998, Diabolical Masquerade released Nightwork. In 1999, Tori Amos released to Venus and Back. The Church released A Box of Birds. Driving and Crying released The Essential Live Driving and Crying. And Pete Townsend released Pete Townsend Live, a benefit for Maryville Academy. In 2000, The Monkees released The Headquarters Sessions. In 2004, Elvis Costello did a twofer, sort of. He released one as a solo album. It was called Il Sogno. And then he also released Elvis Costello and the Imposters' new album, The Delivery Man. Meanwhile, on that exact same day, Green Day released their iconic album, American Idiot. John Fogarty released Deja Vu All Over Again. John Waite released The Hard Way. And Chris Tomlin released Arriving. And in 2009, Duran Duran released Live at Hammersmith 82. Singles that were released in the UK on September 21st include in 1992 when R.E.M. released Drive. Meanwhile in America, in 1959, the Isley Brothers released Shout and Percy Faith and his orchestra released the theme from A Summer Place. In 1964, Peter and Gordon released I Don't Want to See You Again. In 1968, Jimi Hendrix Experience released All Along the Watchtower. In 1971, Elvis Presley released It's Only Love. In 1977, the Doobie Brothers released Echoes of Love. In 1978, Chic released Le Freak. In 1979, Rupert Holmes released Escape, the Pina Colada song. In 1985, Mr. Mr. released their number one classic, Broken Wings. In 1989, the Thompson Twins released Sugar Daddy. In 1993, Nirvana released their single, All Apologies. In 1995, No Doubt released Just a Girl, and the Jim Blossoms released Till I Hear From You. And in 2016, The Weeknd released Starboy. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 21st include singer Jason Derulo, violinist Lindsey Sterling, singer and actor Billy Porter, singer-songwriter Leonard Cohen, BBC One radio broadcaster Jimmy Young, country music superstar Faith Hill, Liam Gallagher of Oasis, Singer Henry Gallagher, no relation. David Silveria of Corn, country music singer Ingrid Andres. Trugoy the Dove of De La Soul, Tyler Stewart of The Bare Naked Ladies. Corinne Drury of Swing Out Sisters, Don Felder of The Eagles, singer-songwriter Dickie Lee, David Hood of The Muscle Shoals Rhythm Section, Don Preston of The Mothers of Invention, classical composer Gustav Holst, John Brooks of The Charlatans, singer Bobby Tench, Dave Gregory of XTC, Phil Taylor of Motorhead, rapper Tom McDonald, singer Chen producer Rupert Hine, guitarist Jesse Ed Davis, and composer Francis Hopkinson. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 21st include composer John Smith, who passed away in 1836 at the age of 86. Composer Jacob Weber passed away in 1839 at the age of 60. Composer Roger Quilter passed away in 1953 at the age of 75. Composer Robert Delaney passed away in 1956 at the age of 53. Composer Maurice DeLag passed away in 1961 at the age of 81. 
Singer and actor Walter Brennan passed away in 1974 at the age of 80. Composer Ernest White passed away in 1980 at the age of 80. Composer Tony Aubin passed away in 1981 at the age of 73. One of the greatest bassists to ever play the instrument, according to many bassists themselves, Jaco Pastorius of the group Weather Report passed away from his injuries that he received on September 11th, 1987 in a bar fight in 1987 at the age of 35. Gospel singer Vernell Townsend passed away in 1995 at the age of 64. Oz Bach of Spanky and Our Gang passed away from cancer in 1998 at the age of 59. Boz Burrell of King Crimson and also the group Bad Company passed away from heart issues in 2006 at the age of 60. Singer and actress Alice Ghostly passed away in 2007 at the age of 84. Sam Carr of the group The Jelly Roll Kings passed away from heart issues in 2009 at the age of 83. John Ducan of Atomic Rooster passed away from heart issues in 2011 at the age of 65. Composer Roman Vlad passed away in 2013 at the age of 93. Douglas Grassel of Ohio Express passed away from fibrosis of the lungs in 2013 at the age of 64. Rapper Depsmen passed away in 2013 at the age of 18. The survivor of the December 10, 1967 Otis Redding plane crash, Ben Cauley of the group The Barkays, passed away in 2015 at the age of 67. Country music singer John Loudermilk passed away in 2016 at the age of 82. Rapper Shorty Lowe passed away in 2016 at the age of 40. Flute player and composer Catherine Hoover passed away in 2018 at the age of 80. Composer Christopher Roos passed away in 2019 at the age of 70. Tommy DeVito of The Four Seasons passed away from COVID-19 in 2020 at the age of 93. Composer and conductor Jacques-Louis Monod passed away in 2020 at the age of 93. Composer, actor, and director Melvin Van Peebles passed away in 2021 at the age of 89. And the drummer for the group The Feelies, also the group The Lounge Lizards, and also the group The Golden Palominos, Anton Fear passed away in 2022 at the age of 66. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 22nd, when in 1985, the first Farm Aid concert took place. 